Hi, welcome to the 77th Hammer Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a swinging light or other physics objects with a physics ball socket entity. I already have a prop physics which is my light and just gone ahead and named it light. Now you're going to create another entity which is a physics ball socket and name that as well. Now on the physics ball socket you'll notice that there's entity 1 and entity 2. Under entity 1 specify the light or the physics item you want to move. Now, with the second entity, you can basically join the two together. But if you don't, it will use the center of the physics ball socket as the as the point. So basically, you just want to for a light, you want to make it be like this. Have the end of the light be pretty much right there, and then pull it down a little bit because you don't want it to go into the wall or the ceiling. So now just go ahead and drag it up to your ceiling, but again, do not have it clip into it. I mean, the players really won't notice that much, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm just going to create a simple point spotlight for effect. Make sure I parent it to the light model. Point it down. And then place it above. Now, the light will automatically swing by itself. But let's look at some of the parameters that we can configure here. There is the Constraint System Manager. This is for more complex systems of physics. I'll go over this at a later time, get more detail. There's the Force Limit to Break. Let's say you had a crane with a little pallet on the bottom. You could have it, once it exceeds so much weight, that it'll snap away. Same for the Torque Limit. That'll be uh, for like the car or something pulling it away. And the teleport distance, same thing, and the sound is when the constraint is broken. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for break, and we'll go with that one. And now, we ha I have a button over on the wall here. I'm going to go to the outputs, click add, unpressed, physics ball socket, break. Now this will make it drop down as soon as this is pressed. Now there's also turn on and turn off which is basically turn off should make it drop and turn on should reactivate it. Mess with them, see how you find them out, see how you like it. I'm gonna go ahead and compile this, show you guys how it looks in game. All right, here we are in Counter-Strike. Go and join the team. Okay, let's go. And there's our light right there. Go ahead and shoot it. it swings. and it'll swing every which way. If you make the prop physics way more than it actually does, then it will not swing as rapidly. And now we go over to our button here, and it falls to the ground. Kill myself. Spawn, it'll be back there again. Alright, let's move out. To where I can keep shooting it. And bust it. Alright, well, I hope this tutorial has helped you make swinging object objects. Just remember, you can do it with Funk Fizz Box, not just Prop Physics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.